Well, I can't speak for all of 2018. 2018 was a great year in terms of finding discoveries in video games. This is why I'm hugely honored to be presenting the top 10 craziest video game discoveries, mysteries, and easter eggs of 2018. Warframe Earlier this year, the free-to-play multiplayer game Warframe received a new hub for the game's second open-world map. However, for some unexplained reason, players entering this hub encountered an unbelievably enormous bug. Literally. And this is supposed to be a peaceful hub zone in the game where no game enemies were ever supposed to show up. The mechanical monstrosity is actually known as an orb, and they're only known to appear in the event that a player is going around creating too much chaos in the orb Valis world. On top of this, they're completely indestructible, being that they're designed to instantly end a player's anarchic free-for-all. How this metal beast managed to make its way in here is still a complete mystery, but being that it seems to be interacting with the environment pretty well, I have to ask, how does something like that happen by mistake? Fortnite Fortnite Love It or Hate It has contained some of the strangest video game mysteries in recent years, but none are more perplexing than the discovery made back in August regarding the mystery of the secret bunker. The mystery began when a completely random bunker was added into the game in this random spot in Wailing Woods, and although players have managed to grab a peek inside, there has been absolutely nothing found except an empty hole of dirt that extends several feet below the ground. Even more confusing, there was a marking on the back side of the bunker that no one had any clue what the hell it was about. This changed a couple of months ago when Just Here For A Bit Man pointed out on Reddit that the image on the back of the bunker is actually a texture lifted from Half-Life 2, as this same exact marking appears as a random graffiti on one of the levels. Not sure how that's connected to this bunker, but wait a second, is Half-Life 3 in there? Hubert. In March of this year, researchers at the University of Freiburg in Germany performed a study using artificial intelligence to see how effectively AI could complete old-school Atari games. Remarkably, the AI found an exploit in the game Hubert that shocked all the researchers at the university. At first, the non-human artificial intelligence purposely killed itself, perhaps to get the enemy towards the bottom of the screen for its next step of action. From there, it went full course on a completely random pattern, completely baffling researchers when suddenly it managed to enter itself into this never seen infinite point spree where it continued to rack up points endlessly into the millions. This exploit had never been witnessed before by a human being, even confusing the original creator of the game. It took this AI only 5 hours to learn Cuber and discover an exploit inside that's been sitting there for over 35 years. This is sort of one of those things that makes you lie awake at night thinking about the future of man versus machine. Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. On August 2nd of this year, a new easter egg was found in the original version of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze four years after its initial release in 2014. Player Shane Marquez posted a video on Twitter revealing the discovery in the level of Miss Abyss. Shane shows us you have to progress to the point of clearing this underwater cavern, then 180 backward and backtrack your way through the cave. He noticed that the cavern suddenly became filled with random jellyfish that he had to avoid that weren't there before. At the bottom is a barrier of electric sea vegetation that can only be passed through with a mechanism from before. Sean figured out that by taking damage, he could use Donkey Kong's temporary recovery invincibility to pass through the electrical wall and get to the other side without issue. Now the payoff for this is a little hard to notice, but only if you wait in this exact spot for an extended period of time. You can spot a tiny Metroid from the Metroid series floating by in the background. While data miners did manage to dig up a Metroid in the game file shortly after release in 2014, nobody knew what it had to do with the actual game until Sean found it this year as an actual easter egg four years after release, making Sean a definite Audi winner for keeping real egg hunting alive. Doom 2 In every map of Doom 2, there's hidden triggers which need to be collected in order to gather 100% completion at the end of the level. However, secret number 4 on map 15 had never been solved, and the Doom wiki even stated it was broken because of the way the trigger was placed under a teleporter. All that changed on August 30th of this year, when YouTuber Zero Master finally figured out there was a legitimate way of solving it. Zero Master figured out all you had to do was get this enemy to chase you into this area and then stand in position so that the teleporter was just behind you. You simply wait for this enemy to come over and give you a little shove, 
and boom, he pushes you right underneath the teleporter and the secret triggers. Now you may reasonably assume that this is actually an exploit or a glitch, but game creator John Romero himself revealed on Twitter that this is actually the way he always intended it. Making Zero Master this year the first person to ever legitimately 100% Doom 2, only nearly taking 25 years. Hitman. On October of this year, a Reddit user named, yeah I'm not pronouncing that, decided to replay Hitman from 2016 when he noticed a portrait on the wall that he never saw before. Turns out no one noticed it before, or at least acknowledged it. Developer Morton Elgard explained on Twitter he patched it in after the game's release and it went completely unnoticed for two years. The picture is a reference to a story in 2012, of a failed repair a Spanish woman did to a centuries old portrait, which received international attention for looking like, well, you might think it's a little crazy something so obvious like this would go unnoticed for so long, but then again, look at this one. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is an online battle royale game where a deadly electrical field slowly closes in on players, forcing them to get closer and closer in battle as the circle shrinks and close quarter combat intensifies. However, many players were annoyed this year as the circle would come to a close and certain players who were still in the match never showed up inside the circle towards the end. I'm gonna call him over when I see him. Where is this guy? What is this b To add to their irritation, when the match ended, the missing players who never showed up in the circle were declared winner. There was nobody else. Bro. Wow, bro. The reason for this, it turns out, was actually because a player this year discovered a huge oversight in the game apparently sitting there since release in 2017. All they had to do was simply stand there without moving for the match and the circle would close in on them without doing any damage to them at all, allowing them to hide out of bounds in the playfield completely unscathed while other players fought inside of the closing circle. While the exploit was instantly patched once word quickly got out, the discovery goes hands down as the most obvious discovery of the year that doesn't make any sense that it took so long to find. Wow, bro. Nintendo Golf. In April of this year, game collector Julian Turner found a mysterious discovery inside the game of Nintendo Golf. And by found inside, I mean literally inside. After Julian bought a copy of Nintendo Golf and Roller Games at a local flea market, he noticed both copies were noticeably heavier than his own copies at home. Julian didn't venture much further to see what was inside the packages as he figured that would be tampering with evidence. The packages were turned into the police, and the discovery is still part of an ongoing investigation. Halo Reach Earlier this year, the Halo Trick Clan Termasis Trickosity made their way into a room in Halo Reach that's been inaccessible since release 8 years ago. It started in 2010 when the team discovered that the room used for this cutscene was sitting out of bounds on the level of the package. When they moved the free cam into the room, they would instantly be booted out, which made it clear to them it wasn't going to be easy. The plan began with Termasis Trickosity setting up a line of ghosts in the courtyard towards the beginning of the level. After getting further through the level, they used an impressive number of glitches glitches and sequence breaking to get their way back to the ghosts from earlier in the level which were now floating out of bounds as the part of the level that they were in had deloaded in order to load the later parts of the level. They used the line of ghosts as if Halo was suddenly Mario 64, and coordinated some carefully timed jumps across the ghosts before they fell into the abyss untouched, and managed to land on a subway track floating out of the bounds. By shooting down a ghost they left earlier in the level under the tracks, they were able to set themselves up underneath where the cutscene room sat and launch themselves right into the room. Considering it took them 8 years to figure that out and pull it off, I can only imagine how satisfying it was to finally get in that room, making for one of the most elaborate out of bounds accomplishments of the year if not of all time. Monster Max Number one goes to the strangest mystery of the year that I found out about from Larocco of the site raregamer.co.uk, who personally came to me with this discovery on my Discord server. Monster Max is a really cool isometric puzzle platformer from 1994 released by Rare in the UK that never made it out of the country. It didn't sell well and it quickly faded into obscurity. However, when Larocco tried playing it, he noticed that each level was prefaced with a bit of a rhyme that gives you a hint as to what to do in the level. For instance, in level 1-2, you're looking for an object called the Accruteen Crown, so you finish the level by grabbing the crown and walking through the exit. Larocco started to notice nonsensical words on every level. Fo, re, Accruteen. What did it mean? All these nonsense words were actually anagrams. And when the nonsense words were unscrambled in chronological order, it spelled out a message that said, 
Alpha Centaur Jewel of the Galaxy will soon be destroyed by attack from intergalactic warships. There is only one chance to save our solar system. According to Larocco, the message appears to have absolutely nothing to do with the game, as there isn't mention about space in the slightest. It appears to be a completely random, extremely obscure hidden message hidden by Rare over two decades ago only uncovered this year. What the hell were they talking about? Is a developer trying to warn us something? Has an intergalactic being hijacked this 94 Game Boy game to warn us about the future? Or is it the most likely answer and Rare's trolling us again? If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you know of any other video game discoveries or mysteries that I may have missed, please let me know down below in the comments, or come join the Discord server and tell me there. Shout out to Towerizer, Spencer, Nest Dude, Pestilent Sleeper, J Day, Jason, Dr. Love, Emery, and Brownie Cat 666YT. Stay tuned.